Hi everyone! Today the look that I'm doing is a bronzy golden summer look. I love this look for summer. I unfortunately had had zero time to go out in the sun so I'm actually very very pale but it probably doesn't look like it right now because I have a lot of fake bronzing products on. I asked if you guys wanted this video and you said yes you want to know how to get a fake bronze tan on your face so here it is um, of course a very important key to this look is not just about your face you need to bring it all the way down your neck down to your chest and I even do it along my shoulders if I'm wearing a tank top or whatever. It's a very beautiful monochromatic look. We did bronzes all over on our eyes. We did shimmery bronze colors, bronzer on our cheeks, and the blush color bronze on our lips. So it's a very monochromatic bronze golden look all over. If you guys over. want to see a list of all the products I use for this video, you can click on the link below to take you to my website and it'll list all the products that I use. So if you want to see how to get this summery bronzy golden look, just keep watching. I'm starting by priming my skin using the Makeup Forever HD Primer in Zero. Using a primer will help hold your makeup throughout the day. I'm just applying this with my hands in the main areas on my forehead, down my nose, on my cheeks and my chin. Because we're going for more of a dewy, sun-kissed glow type of look today, I'm using a lighter water-based foundation. The foundation that I'm using is the Face and Body Foundation from Makeup Forever. This is a great foundation for the summer. It's very lightweight, very easy to wear, and it won't feel heavy on your skin. I'm applying it with mint brush number 42, Skunk Brush. So for the first base, I'm using a foundation that matches my own skin tone. And now we're going to go for that slightly fake bronzy look. Um, a lot of times your body is bronzed but and has a tan, but your face isn't. So this is a way to fake that tan without actually being outside in the sun. There's two really great ways you could fake a bronzy tan. You could use a bronzer gel, something like this. This is the Lise Watier, um Illuminating Bronzing Gel. Or you can use a foundation that's about one to two shades darker than your skin tone. I'm going to show you guys how to use both options. So the first option is the foundation. I'm using about one to two pumps in my hand. And then I'm taking my skunk brush. This is mint 42 again. And I'm just putting that product onto my brush. And when you're applying this, you want to think about where the sun would hit your face when you get a tan. So it's kind of like contouring. You want to create that shape, the number three, going from your temple along your cheekbones to your jawline. Then go down your nose, along your forehead your chin and don't forget it's really important to do your neck because you don't want your face to be so dark and then your neck is light so please do not forget this step make sure you do your neck and take it as far down as you want so you can go all the way down to your chest your collarbone just so it all blends in and then take your brush whatever product is left and then just give it a good sweep all over So the other option is using a bronzing gel. And again, I'm using this one from Lise Watier. And it's really up to you how bronzy you want to look. So I'm probably going to squirt out about one to two drops. So about that much. And then I'm just going to rub that into the tips of my fingers and into the palms of my hand. And then like I'm going to pat it onto my skin, starting from the outside working in. And again, don't forget to do your neck. I love this gel. You could use it on its own without any foundation. And it just gives your skin that beautiful bronzy effect. And 
when you put it over foundation it looks even more amazing this is a really great product Next I'm taking a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes to brighten up my eye area and I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer and Mint Brush Number 12 Concealer Brush. Just pat that in with your finger. Next up in getting that fake bronzy glow is using bronzer of course and I'm using this one from Lise Watier and I like it because it has the matte bronzer on the outer edge and then a little bit of shimmer in the center so you could play around with both and I'm applying it with a big bronzer brush this one is from Sephora and focusing on that number three shape again And then just add a bit more to your forehead, then your nose, your chin, and of course, don't forget your neck. And I like to take it all the way down to my collarbone. And my shoulders. <laughs> So already looking pretty bronzy, but I want to add just a bit more definition in my cheeks. So I'm going in with that same bronzer and I'm going in with a smaller brush. This is mint brush number 16 contour brush. And I'm using the bronzer just to kind of chisel out my cheekbones a bit. Just like that. For blush, I'm going for a color that's a bit more of a terracotta, again, because we want this to be really bronzy and golden. Uh, I don't want to use bright oranges or anything like that. This is still in a very similar monotone type of color. And this one is from Makeup Forever. This is number 26. And yeah, so think of something um, that's a bit richer than... Uh, your the color of your bronzer that has just a hint more color to it if you don't have anything this tone you could just take your bronzer and just really concentrate it on the apples of your cheeks and I'm using the new mint blush brush which is finally done it took forever but it's finally complete We've perfected the design and this is mint brush number 46 which, which will be available very soon Prep your eyes with a bit of eye primer. I'm using the NARS Smudge Proof Eye Primer. Apply it to your lid and blend up and out. And apply a little bit along your lower lash line. Next, using a flat eyeshadow brush. This is Mint 22, and I'm taking the color Woodwinked. Packing that color onto my lid. about three quarters of the way. Starting from the inner corner, going to the outer corner. And just up to your crease. Take that same color and a pencil brush, this is Mint 24, and use a little bit of it right in the inner corner. Next, take any warm brown eyeshadow. You could even use your bronzer if you want, but I'm using the color Cork from MAC, but a bronzer will work as well. And a blending brush, this is Mint Brush 20, and apply that color onto your crease. Just blending back and forth into that shimmery color on your lid. Add that same eyeshadow color back with your pencil brush along your lower lash line. To highlight my brow bone, I'm using the color Rice Paper. For my waterline, I'm using a gold color pencil. This is Make Up Forever Aqua Eyes number 10.
For my top lash line, I'm using a dark brown eyeliner pencil. This is Teddy from MAC. Curl your lashes and add lots of mascara top and bottom. I'm using the new Revlon Lash Potion Mascara. I added a very natural pair of false lashes just to spruce up the look a bit more. Moving on to the eyebrows, I'm using Mint Brush 36 Double Ended Brow Brush just to brush up the hairs and then fill them in lightly with a bit of eyeshadow. Just in the areas that I need it. To go with the bronzy theme, I'm setting my brows with the Girl Boy Brow Gel from MAC, which I think will lighten the overall look. You can see the difference between the two. Last step for lips, I'm using a nude lip liner. This is Aqua Lip Number 1 from Makeup Forever. I'm going over that with this Lab Shine Lip Gloss from Makeup Forever. This is in their metallic collection and this color is M6, which is perfect for this bronzy look because it's this bronzy lip gloss. Right in the center of that, I'm adding a bit of this lip gloss from MAC. This is called Bateau, which is also bronzy, but it's more orange, has more of an orange tint to it, and it's a bit brighter. So there you go, that is the final look for this bronzy summer glow makeup. I hope you guys enjoy this. Please, if you try it out, post the pictures on my Facebook page. I would love to see them. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like it. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.